We will conclude this video tutorial with some examples of the most common causes of motor damage. These are motor overload, overvoltage, voltage surge, single phasing, and phase imbalance. Remember the example presented previously. We talked about a 20 horsepower motorized pulley driving a conveyor with a full load amp rating of 23.6 amps. So once again, a 20 horsepower motor working at full load draws 23.6 amps. This is an actual example of a conveyor being driven by a 20 horsepower motorized pulley over a 24 hour period a few years ago. Notice that it exceeded full load amps several times in a 24 hour period. Recall the graph shown previously, showing that a 20 horsepower motor will draw 23.6 full load amps. If that motor is required to provide more than 20 horsepower, it will draw more than 23.6 amps, more like 30 or 35 amps. This is what a motor looks like when it is subjected to an overload condition. Notice that the stator is uniformly burned. And so the question is, why was a 20 horsepower motor installed when 25 horsepower were required? And why was it allowed repeatedly to exceed full load amps? Another example. Here we see a localized burn, and this is typical of a voltage surge. A voltage surge can occur from a lightning strike or from a resonance-induced voltage spike. Uh, a resonance-induced voltage spike will occur when a VFD is located far from a motor and it's not filtered. The line is not filtered. So a lightning strike or a resonance-induced voltage surge will be a very small pinprick of damage on the stator. Uh, this photo was taken after a 230 volt motor was put into service on a 460 volt supply. Still it's a localized burn, but it's not a pinprick. So two examples of over voltage. And finally, this is a localized burn which would be caused by a phase imbalance or single phasing. Notice that one of the phases at the top of the screen where the arrowhead is showing is burned. However, the other two phases still have a bright copper color. We hope these examples of motor damage are helpful. In this tutorial, we covered how a Rameka motor works in, in driving a conveyor. We talked about the relationship between current draw and required power, which is very important. We talked about how to protect motors, how to check motors, and what are some of the common causes of motor damage. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more informative tutorials, go to our website, RomecaCorp.com, or please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.